Hello everyone, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to copy your Final Cut library to an external hard drive. Let's get started. Alright, so first, why would you want to do this? Well, copying your library to an external hard drive is a great way to create an archive or a backup of your library, its events, and corresponding projects. Not to mention that having a Final Cut library on an external hard drive allows you to edit off different computers. You can then take your library using only your external hard drive and edit on any machine as long as it has Final Cut Pro installed. So without further ado, let's see how this is done. Alright, so taking a look at the top left hand here of my screen, as you can see, I have my local library open. And as the name suggests, this library is installed on my Mac's local internal hard drive. In this library, I have various events and corresponding projects, as you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to carry all of this over to an external hard drive. Now, you're going to want to, of course, first make sure that your hard drive is connected. As you can see, I have mine listed here, and you'll see that this has some Time Machine backups. However, no library yet. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new library in order to store these events and projects on. So to do this, we're going to go back into Final Cut go under the file menu, select new, and then select library. From here, we're going to find our external hard drive, select it to make sure that this library is created in the drive, and we can also choose to rename it. Now, when you rename it, make sure you do not edit the file extension, so anything before the .fcp bundle can be changed. In this case, let's call it external library. There we go. Once we've renamed it, we can press save. So we've now created a new library on our external hard drive. As you can see, if we take a look at the top left hand of the screen once again, you'll see two libraries listed. We have the local library, the one we started with, as well as the new one on the external hard drive. Final Cut requires there to be at least one event in each library, which is why it's automatically created an event using today's date. So now that we've created the new library, let's carry over the events, projects, and other media from our local library. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and select all the events that we want to carry over. Let's say in this case, all of them. So we're going to press and hold command and select them one by one to select all. From here, we're going to go back into the file menu and we're going to select copy events to library. And then we're going to select the external library, which is the library we just created on our external drive. From here, we're going to click this to let it copy. Next, Final Cut will ask whether you want to include optimized or proxy media. In this case, I suggest selecting the media as well as the original media and also copy any media that may be stored in separate locations. You do not need to carry over optimized or proxy media as I don't have any in these events. However, if you do, be sure to select them as well. From here, we're going to go ahead and press OK, and Final Cut is going to copy all of the events, all of the corresponding media and project as well. All right, so after a few minutes, it has now finished carrying over all of the events and projects. As you can see, we now have an identical list of events in both libraries, both on the external as well as the local, essentially having carried over the entire local library to our external drive. Now, to prove that this all works, we're going to go ahead and close the local library by right clicking and selecting close library. And then let's go ahead and select one of the events open this up, and as you can see, we can play this back and run and edit this event as if it were stored on our local library. We can now take this hard drive and use it as a backup or use it to edit these events on another Mac. If you want to learn how to copy or move individual events or projects, I also have separate tutorials on this. For more content like this, be sure to check out my full Final Cut Pro playlist. Thank you very much for watching.